I was very happy to be selected to be the guest curator of this year's Abraj Prize exhibition. The artists who are selected for the Abraj Prize are selected on the basis of proposals. We have received more than 300 applications from artists. Some of them are unknown, a lot of them are known. There were some quite established artists in there. It's the, the right combination of a winning proposal is a, is a kind of difficult thing to evaluate. In the case of Rana Begum, it was clear from her proposition that her career thus far had brought her to a stage of maturity that she knew what to do. The, the pr proposition, the proposal, the work she was proposing to make made complete sense in terms of her work, in terms of the context of Dubai, in terms of the prize in general. The preparation of, of this exhibition, of the Abraj exhibition, has happened in a fairly condensed amount of time, five or six months. It's, um, it's enough to develop ideas and concepts and, uh, and links and all of that, but it's a, a pretty condensed time provided you make a catalogue, a book for the exhibition, and it's a fairly substantial amount of, of um, works from four artists that's being exhibited. Um, an artist I hadn't worked with before. So it's been a, a fascinating, intense, uh, very involved journey of getting to know the artists, establishing a kind of relation of trust. The title of the exhibition, Seepage Ritual, or Seepage Slash Ritual, was, was not premeditated. It wasn't some idea that I have been obsessed with all my life or, or anything like that. It came from considering the works of the artists and the conversations with them. It seemed to me to be a kind of a running question, running dilemma. Seepage is, in a way, reality. It seeps. You can never uh, grasp it fully. There's always new dimensions, new parameters of it when you think you've, uh, you know, uh, grasped an, an angle of the real. There's always other angles and other considerations. And so the artist's work is in part to find a way to see the world. I mean, to propose angles from which to see and consider the world. I think one of the most interesting and important aspects of the works presented in the exhibition is their openness. That is to say, they don't present you with a, a definitive, a clear and authoritative idea of what you should be looking at. I think different visitors will come out of the show with different uh, ideas of what they have seen in a way, because if you take the time to look at the works, they open up worlds, they open up questions. And I think different people can see many different things into them. So my hope is that people will, will come to the show with the same openness and that this dialectic of, of uh, excess and control or seepage and ritual will be worked out in their minds and in their senses in, in different ways.